Hello guys! Welcome to another episode of Low Carb Cooking, Eat to Heal by yours truly, your diet doctora, Dr. Josephine Grace Rohatan. And today, gagawa tayo ng another local Pinoy dish na gagawin nating low carb. Although the ingredients are exactly the same, but tutulungan kita kung paano ito maging low carb. And this is one of our favorites. So, it's munggo. So, mung beans or munggo is actually in our caution list kasi ito ay starchy. So, when it comes to starchy foods, ito ay medyo mataas sa fiber but mataas din yung kanyang total net carbohydrate contents. Did you know na isang cup nito ng raw mung beans or raw or hilaw na munggo ay already equivalent to 95 net carbs or more than 2 cups of rice. And that 2 cups of rice, kung ihalin tulad natin when it comes to sugar content, that is already almost 20 teaspoons of white sugar. So, 20 kutsarita ng asukal. So, that's why maglilut tayo ng munggo pero gawin natin low carb this is my only carb for the day. So, I will just get 1 4 cup of mungo. So, 1 4 cup of mungo, ang total net carbs niya ay nasa 24 gram net carbs. Since our limit is nasa 50, so pasok naman. So, damihan na natin yung sabaw and bagyan natin ng other low carb vegetables to make it plenty here. So, that is why we will have our mungo and pork as usual with alugbate and magluluto na tayo ngayon. So, ready na tayo? Let's go and start our low carb cooking! Of course, magsisimula tayo na gigisahin natin yung ating monggo. So, kuha tayo ng pork fats dito o lard. So, eto yung mga taba na galing sa baboy when we boiled yung, natin yung baboy last time. And this pork, as you all know, eto yung prepare ko ahead beforehand para ready to cook na. Madali na lang yung ating pagluto right after. So, we have that one. Yan na yung oil natin. Then, we can put our garlic. So, one quart na mango. And then, we can put our water. So, parang magiging mongo flavor lang siya. And talagyan na natin ang ating pork, boiled pork na sabaw. So, pork broth. This is going to be my first meal today. So, lulutuin natin as usual sa ating pressure cooker to make it fast. And, yung ating pork Huwain natin. So, then have that there. We can just have salt. Salt and pepper lamb. And since we're using pressure cooker, we expect na madali lang siyang maluto. So, we will cover this one. Ayan. And, lintin natin yung ating other stuff. Tapos na yung ating pork. So, this is just a one serving kind of mungo with pork. So, you can also use fish. So, yung isda, isa rin sa komo na ginagamit for mungo. And, we will prepare our alugbate. This is our alugbate. Para meron tayong greens. And, alugbate will also add to that different na slime. Kakaunting slime sa ating sabaw. Which will make it more enjoyable for me. But if hindi kayo sanay sa alugbate, then you can use other greens. Meron ding malunggay if you want. And speaking of, since meron akong malunggay doon, 
why not add a little marungay? So, wala namang problema yon. It's up to you and how you want your vegetables. So, hindi lang po sa American cuisine yung salad or pagmimix ng mga vegetables. You can also have that in our local vegetables. In fact, our local vegetables are the most nutritious given that they don't need fertilizers. Yung kangkong, yung mga alugbate, hindi na sila kailangan ng fertilizers or insecticides. We can easily just harvest them. Tumutubo lang sila kahit saan. And low-carb nutrition doesn't need to be expensive. So, with this cost, yung isang meal na ito, maybe nasa magkano lang ba? So, sure. Maybe yung, yung ating pork ay nasa 50 pesos. And then, mango and everything else. Maybe nasa 25 pesos. So, that's just a 75 peso meal. And I'll just have hard boiled egg as an extra. So, that is just a 100 peso meal. And it's very nutritious, it's very nutrient dense. At yun nga, sobrang dali lang maluto. So, we will just wait until it is fully cooked. So, again, yung munggo is considered a starchy food. So, sa mga merong mga sensitivities on urate, uric acid, dapat talaga ay babaan natin yung ating intake of carbohydrates. So, akala natin yung munggo ay just pure proteins. No po, mas mataas yung carbohydrate content ng munggo and other beans. That's why beans and other legumes are already considered in our caution list, including peanuts. So, yung nuts po ay medyo mataas din sa carbohydrate content. Ito ay considered a starchy food then along with its phytotoxins. Meron itong phytoestrogens that some may be very sensitive. So, as much as possible, if kayo ay nag-limit, nagsimula pa lang sa inyong low-carb journey, better to do it safely by sticking lang on our safe list para yung inyong journey, yung inyong healing ay, ay mas maging madali. So, yun lang yung importante. And we can now put our vegetables in our mungo. So, meron tayong alugbate and we can also put a little of our malunggay. So, eto yung malunggay na to. Eto uh, na yung hinimay ko the other day pa. Nilagay ko lang sa rest. So, we will see. So, yan. So, kapag yung pressure ay bumaba na, hmm, I can already smell the munggo. So, I really like munggo. Before, hindi man ako maka-rice, pero nakakaubos ako ng dalawa, tatlong, tatlong bowl ng munggo. So, I don't know kung gaano karami yon yung kanyang raw na available, raw beans na ginamit. Because, depende rin sa dami ng sabaw. Especially when you, you are eating in karinderia, in school canteen, na negosyo yon So, usually, marami yung sabaw. So, hopefully, hindi ganun kadami yung nakain ko before. But, good thing, now we are already in low carb and we already know what to do. Alam na natin kung paano i-monitor. So, even the foods that are considered as high carb ay pwedeng maging low carb provided that you consume them in the right amount. So, with mungo, I think it's safe to say to have a limit of around just one-fourth cup ng raw or hilaw na munggo. So, if you're a family of four and you can have, you can cook like one whole cup of munggo at hatiin mo ito equally or else baka one cup nga yung inyong niluto at baka one-fourth cup lang ginigay nyo sa inyong other family members at kayo ang nagubos ng three-fourth cups na yun. And that's already around 70 to 75 grams net carbs of your carbohydrates which is already equivalent to about 10-15 teaspoons of white sugar. So minimize our sugar intake, glucose intake in the form of simple sugars including in the form of our total carbohydrate net carbs, the complex carbohydrates in the form of starch. Okay? So, yun. Pwede tayong kumain ng munggo. Limit lang to one-fourth or even less. So, pwede one-fourth cup of munggo and pwedeng hatiin nyo pa ito to even cut 
the carbohydrate content that you can take in a day. So, as much as possible, kahit pa 50 gram yung net carb na ating allowed in a day, we don't need to consume them in one sitting. Mas mabuti nga if we break it down into two or three meals para yung sugar load, yung glucose load, and insulin load, yung impact sa ating katawan, ay hindi din ganon kasobra-sobra. So, that's just it. We will see if okay na. And, pakalmahin muna natin yung ating pressure cooker. We can release some pressure. pressure cooker ay para sa mga a little impatient and apurado like me or in good ways we can see it as trying to be time efficient. So yan, it's already good. So yan, open na ba yung ating mga munggo? So, hindi pa masyadong open. So we will see kung ah, hindi pa siya ganun ka malambot. So we will wait a little more and I like my vegetables overcooked. I know this is not ideal, especially sa kanya mga nutrient profiles. But otherwise, if hindi sila ganun, okay na lang din yung meron kong makuhang kakauting nutrients dyan. Then, nothing at all. Otherwise, kung hindi sila ganun ka luto, hindi ko rin sila nakakain. So, yan yung ating... Malunggay? So, just a little malunggay lang. So, very good enough. Yan. So, we will see. So, maybe another 5 minutes or so of pressure cooking. And we can add also a little sabaw. Mahilig ako sa sabaw lately because of my pregnancy. serving. So, malalaman natin if ready na yung ating munggo, if it's already soft and broken. So, yan. Medyo full pa siya. So, cover natin ulit and we will wait for another This is how I like my mungo malata. And the sabaw is already there. And the pork is already very soft. So, nakita nyo naman, oh. Sobrang lambot ng pork. Nagihiwalay-hiwalay na. We will now put into our bowl. Friday is considered a smoke day. Sabi yan ng brother ko. For Friday, mongo day, we'll have mongo. So, we are now ready. So, this is our mongo. So, maraming salamat. Thank you for always tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe, especially sa ating YouTube channel and our Facebook pages. And of course, nandun yung playlist natin ng Eat to Heal, Low Carb Cooking, para matulungan kayo sa inyong low carb journey. So, bon appetit, happy low carbing, happy, and have a yummy low carb eating. Bye!